Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful projects from start to finish with easy to follow guides. And one of my boxes has finally arrived in its little circuit around um, all over the place. So I can finally show you most of the supplies that I use to create my Sawyer workshop. So because we're in February and the featured collection during February is Sawyer. And this is really like a very sweet collection. So I'm gonna shoot you down onto my desk and we're gonna take a look at what I used and what I created with Sawyer. Okay. There we go. Okay, so like I said, most of my stuff is here but some stuff did get delayed. So for whoever hasn't seen the Sawyer paper, um, I thought that's where we'll start. So when I create a workshop, this is what gets emailed to you. Um, it gets emailed with just a drop down, uh, a drop down, a Dropbox link, and you can download the files. So we'll just quickly walk through the files as we do the walkthrough of the workshop. So there's a cover page. Most people don't need that if you're gonna create it right away. Sorry, it's gonna try and autofocus on the white in the background. There is a supply list. You can also see the supply list on my blog at chriscreativelife.com. Um, so the first thing on the supply list, I did use the paper pack with the sticker sheet. So, I'll just open it up here. And so for whoever hasn't seen Sawyer, it's kind of a friendship theme, but along with just everyday moments. If you, morning Pauline, if you wanted, you could easily swap out the titles to make it a little more generic, just um, using the same layouts. But I think it's also very important for us to celebrate some of our friendships. So I did use the paper pack with the full sticker sheet. And this is a fun paper pack, this little pennant paper or bunting paper. I love this little um, zip strip across the top with all the um, complementary colors for Sawyer. Then on the back is this fun triangle print that is um, like little branches. And then, <coughs> sorry, there's this fun little dash print on mint with the super fun rainbow zip strip across the top. On the back side of that is this fun little um, wonky dots that look like little tiny footprints, like pet footprints, I mean, but there's just got only two toes. So they're just like little tiny minuscule dots. So it's just a little bit of a different like generic pattern then there's this fun leaf. And then on the back side are these fun petals, floral paper. So then the other thing I did use was for this one, I created a custom um, cardstock pack to help uh, me better create with the um, products. So, in, and you can always order and create your own custom pack. Close to my heart will do it in 12s or 24s. So in my custom pack for this workshop, there's two white daisy, two harbor, two wisteria, two mint, and two mulberry. Then an extra piece of white daisy cardstock, the Sawyer die cuts, which I'm gonna show you on the layouts. Then I did use grape shimmer trim, which went beautifully with the workshop. And then for some sparkle, I grabbed the Wild Berry Glitter Gems, and they're perfect on here. So as part of the um, files, here, let me move this out of the way. You, Like I said, you get the supply list, then there's general workshop directions, your background colors, more detailed directions with nice photos of before, how to line everything up if you need any if there's any like details that need to be added there. 
There is also suggested photo sizes, but my all my workshops are very wide open space. So if you needed to alter any of the um, photo spots, you totally could. I do try and stick to pretty standard photo sizes. And then there's a large photo of each layout and two smaller detailed photos along with the full cutting guide. Once again, almost no paper left from this collection. Um, so following the guide, you can easily cut out all of your pieces of paper to create the exact same layouts I have. And then if you're a consultant, there is a consultant release. It just explains to you what you can and cannot do with the files. So now the fun part. So this is layout number one. So here you can see the treasured moments. You see how nicely the grape shimmer trim kind of brings everything together. And then these wild berry glitter gems on there. So this is just kind of a fun one. You can also see on here, the one piece that is still missing in my little supply, second supply list. These are the die cut shapes for this workshop. So it's a coordinating product. They're just a little bit heavier. They're like a lightweight chipboard. So it's not too bulky in your, on your pages. It doesn't add too much weight. So you can see some of them here in the pennants. This is a fun little shape here. Here's another one right there. This little, oh no, this semicircle right here is one. The butterfly is just a really cute sticker. So that's layout number one. Then here is layout number two, playing with some triangles and squares and all the fun things. Best friends, right? So, this is mostly stickers on this layout, but again, you could see how it's completely wide open. So if you wanted to, you could totally alter the photo sizes to whatever you have. Also, these are all very easy sizes to add additional photos with flip flops on. So that's layout number two. Layout number three is just smile. So, and love. Right, so here again, you could see the chipboard. Sorry, I don't. I thought that the chipboard was in the, the package that was arriving today, but it didn't. So like I said, you can see they're not very thick. They don't add a lot of bulk. So here's another example of some of the um, die cut pieces. So right there, lots of stickers. So by mixing and matching all of the textures between the shimmer trim, the cardstock, the paper, the stickers, the die cuts, it kind of adds a nice little interest to all of the layouts. And then here is the final layout, which is layout number four. So the workshop does create eight scrapbooking pages, 12 by 12, or if you're counting by double page spreads, then it's four double page spreads. So this is the last one, BFF. You mean the world to me, besties, two peas in a pod. I love you, cutie. Hey, girl. So this is the look at what I did with Sawyer. And um, as I said, if you would like any more details, there is a full blog post over on my blog at chriscreativelife.com. But I thought I would just pop on here really quickly. It's always kind of nice to be able to see the walkthrough of the layouts and how they turned out. I'm super happy with this workshop. So, and I love the harbor in the background of this one. And then, here we go, back at the beginning with layout number one. This is backwards, I think. There we go. I actually had it backwards. There we go. That makes more sense now. And there are our supplies. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask. Um, I'm always happy to answer. Thank you. I'm always happy to answer any questions you might have. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will talk to you later. Bye, guys.